White settlements in America, which were the Native Americans' homeland, have now moved westward. They are trying to get the Indians off of their reservations so they have more westward expansion for new economic opportunities, but really they would like their land for gold, and that was found in the Black Hills. They want to move on, our, on the Indians' land, and from my perspective, that is not fair. New land that the Indians got kicked off of. out of the reservations because the population in each has grown so much and since the Americans help to civilize the natives they feel that they have the power to move them. The Americans won the gold in which they found in the Black Hills and they want farmland and economic opportunities but the natives refuse them for over a decade to move the reservations. Americans have used so many Bighorn, the Indians outnumbered the, the Americans from three to one. The Indians band together because they knew the Americans were going to try to um, take over the territories, well, the reservations, so great, they were greatly outnumbered. And the three tribes that band together were the Sioux, the Apaho, and the Northern Cheyenne tribes. And um, it was also known as Custard's Last Stand, for he died in this battle, and it was known as a great loss for an American battle in history. In the outcome to the Battle of the Little Big Horn, um, natives, um, Indian borders to the reservations were taken down. U.S. government increased its efforts to subdue the tribes. Within five years, almost all of the Seahawks and Cheyennes would be confined to the reservations. You best reconsider. I will not give my land up. My people need it. You best reconsider again. They're, gonna, <laughs> They're coming. Do this. And then I die. I die. I did this. I got my land. And that is how the Battle of Little Bighorn is played throughout history. Ever since that battle, the Native Americans are known to be vicious and malicious against people who try to get their land. <laughs>